And welcome back guys to the LP of Silent Strike 2. So let's continue on. This is a part 3 of 180 probably. Because I am planning actually to do the entire campaign. I mean, another campaign. But all in good time. Hopefully. Hopefully all in good time. So, let's continue on. We bombed the crap out of the enemy positions. The only thing for us is left to get over these positions. Hopefully no mines. And then capture the Stum Tiger. The Stum Tiger. The evil Stum Tiger. This time we will be using it. And not the other way around. So. Let's move our 85 and 152 up front. <laughs> Look how slow that monster is. Of course, we still have our commander <laughs> popping his head out there like a boss. So let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, nothing there. So let me see just my... Where's my OT26? That's 85, 85, 152, and there it is. Damn you! Look how many soldiers I have. Jokando! 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 Okay, so move in. Move in. Move in. Oh, believe me, now we're gonna come to the worst part of this game. The freaking vision. We have killed lots of German soldiers, but that does not mean they will not kill lots of our soldiers. And this is where the evil begins. <coughs> I think these three things are enough for any kind of party. Again, I would wish to actually move these soldiers. Do I have a, my officer? I should have one more officer around. I have no idea where the hell that monster is. He's the only dude standing. Oh yeah, he is in one of these buildings. Uh, where are ya? Where are ya? Okay, there he is. Soviet rifleman engineer. Okay, I was thinking like, oh, there's a sniper also. So let's see, there's no snipers because we lost them all. I think. Uh, so we only had one. That's not much of a loss. Okay. Now we're gonna also move this position to the center. So we can actually cover most of the stuff. As you see the road, these are other positions, so we can actually prepare ourselves to move into the enemy's positions while this side just wraps up the objective. Okay, you guys can move over here. Let me see if he can actually see through the... I'm not sure to be honest now. No, he can't. See through the damnable thing. Maybe he can. Oh well, who cares. Let's move. Of course, excellent music. And we can move in. Of course we shouldn't sh sh shuri. We shouldn't shuri around. Should I say hurry? So we use our rifleman. Let's target right tracks for Germanoids. Though it would seem that there is also visibility thingy when they are actually standing. So if they are actually going prone, actually prone, lying down. Their visibility gets a tad bit lowered, so yeah, 
There's a difference, definitely. So we'll leave this squad up. We have guys in front which are lying down. Using these other guys as awesome. The AK Scots. If we got some, if we have that feature of uh, just driving over the freaking trees. Like in Hidden Stroke. So. Yeah, he already said hidden stroke. Oh my god, my, my mind just goes left and right. I don't know what the fuck is happening. But, yeah. yeah, in hidden stroke, your tanks, heavier tanks, can actually go through the. Well, go over the trees, I guess you would say. Just cut those fuckers down with their tracks. So that's awesome, I must say. That's a very nice feature that hidden stroke also added. A needed feature for any game. Oh, wow. okay. I was worried that that was something that I want to know about. So, the oh, there is nothing there. Okay. Let's see through these trees. These trees are evil. But we shall use them for our purposes. For our goals, for our awesome Soviet soldiers. We will go to Berlin and we will raid a building with a nice flag. Also, I put a link of very, very interesting thing that I just watched on the YouTube. A very, very interesting thing that everybody should watch if you're a fan of Company of Heroes. So, yeah, I'll put that link there. It, it's a must watch. A must. Don't dare not watch that. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Okay, let's move these guys. Wait, 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 wait. Stupid me. This is not Blitzkrieg. Fuck off. Jesus. I'm already getting too used to the Blitzkrieg. I'm playing it still, so. I'm on a last mission with Patton. Then maybe. Oh, there's another officer. Oh, yeah, that's the my one. Oh, wait, they're all one. What the fuck? Okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, so, yeah, it's an interesting, I must say. It's much more linear, I guess, compared to the original Blitzkrieg, as it is an expansion specifically tailored for the Patton campaigns. Yeah. No campaign, no. So, house bells. All in all, it was fun. But again, core units really, really, really were not useful to me in any way possible. I lost so many of those core units. I did not care. I still finished the mission without them. I'm a little bit more cautious. But, yeah, I mean, let's be honest, last mission really, well, last mission, last mission in the Soviet campaign for the Sunstrike Forever was really evil towards us. We have seen what they did to us with infantry. And this time we're going towards the cliffs, which will fuck us up harshly if we don't have any kind of line of sight. And it will be hard to get line of sight if we don't use this force to get towards the sides which will give us the advantage because I definitely think they should be able to have the Germans that is some kind of 80 packs 40s and all that 38s 36 37 I don't know some of those stuff because they're cool like that I, I hear again I know you can just waste your troops I know but still and always, guys, I'm playing this blind. It's blind if it doesn't do not read. 
than or can't read. I always play blind. Well, blind in terms that I do not know what's gonna happen. If it happens, it happens. I wonder of their minds. Let's check. Nope. So the OT26 is quite useless if it's not close range. Support this would be excellent for those huge amount of mass of German infantry coming towards me. This would be perfect, but again, if that mass actually reached the damnable tank, it would die very fast because we have seen the strength of the AT grenades. But again, this is the second part that probably changed that fiercely. Now this and this one company will be very hard to actually manage because they are... Oh, that's stuck 40. That's the new actually, the unit. Excellent, before he could do anything. Oh, they're having a beautiful, beautiful amount of mortars dropping on us, it would seem. Good, they're not focusing on the officers. Please, anyone kill him? As you see, the reload time is beautiful. It feels realistic. It feels you're like, kill it, kill it, God damn it! no! You know, it's beautiful. I like it. I like it. It's totally different. The feel is totally different. It's not fast and furious like in the first one. It's much more... Calm down, everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> but then all of a sudden the tiger comes so close and fucks up everything. But remember, if my units now are so hard to reload well, for them. It's so hard to reload one shell. Think about a tiger. That will fucking take time. As you see, this bastard was shooting my guys and they didn't even notice. My guys would all die. Thankfully, they did not kill my officer. Okay, let's get these guys up front. They need to support my officers. Now, this is good. I feel totally different compared to the original game. It feel, I mean. It all feels different. Yeah, it feels much stronger. It's cool. I like it so much. Okay, we'll get these guys out of there. We can actually move towards the enemy positions. Oh, those are all Soviet crew guys. Well, that's not good. I don't need you guys. But you will actually support this. Yes, yes. Because I have guys in this crap. I will use them like that. Like that. Excellent. Engineers, you can go as a assault infantry, why not? What's wrong, huh? What's wrong? I want you guys to get into that building, you guys into that building. Control them all. Oh yeah, D70, 152 up front there. Now we're gonna prepare another front hopefully it's gonna be okay though again we do not have an officer so it's gonna be a little bit critical for these soldiers to do anything if the enemy has a line of sight of course but we shall hope to actually outmaneuver the enemy and cut their forces in this position and then just enter the base now this may be actually even easier mission than I'm actually talking about or how I'm talking about it but still we shall see I'm not taking chances anymore of course we have soldiers here I think you guys don't need to be there anymore it's time for us all to move out oh 
Okay, B. Let's spread our divisibility. Okay, it's all good now. Ah, oh, yes, the 70 can actually shoot better and faster, of course, than uh, 85 or 152, of course, and, <laughs> and its shells are much cheaper. I want to clear some trees for my soldiers to actually can see better than those stupid Germans. Get down. I will get my commander out so he can maybe, maybe he will get a better view of things. No, get. No, no. There. Of course, now that you can actually carry troops with your vehicles, they tend to bug out a little bit. As you can see, this dude got stuck. That's bad. Let's put the T-70 up front. Oh, there seems to be some kind of trouble. Oh, it's probably this stupid thing that's making trouble. This, this MG-34, which I will actually take. And actually, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna move my front, my central front, central, central front here towards the objectives. Or me, actually, we should test the defenses here. Let's do that first. Not like I don't have a huge amount of soldiers to do that. Let's see, they're all empty. Okay, these two are not empty. Okay, these guys will go here. Okay. Again, I have no idea if they have any kind of support here. Maybe we don't need a central front just to open, but we will cut into them, that's for sure. As we need to do that, anyhow. Uh, of course, I can actually use my awesome stuff. Okay, move out. I don't think they should be able to have a huge amount of troops at this moment. He didn't feel like that at the beginning of the level. Of course, they have to go around all this. Evil trees, I say. But also the freaking panthers won't be able to move through all this. So they'll have to go around this position, this position, this position. Did I say how much I love Soundstrike? It just feels right. Everything feels right about Soundstrike 2 at least. Well, Soundstrike 2 really did up the you know the second part as it should be, you know, for anything if it is continuation of a certain series. 
I don't know why they went with a third with such cutting out some s really needed stuff, you know, like uh, uh, like engineering vehicles became engineer men. And I mean, why? I mean, they're so easy to kill, even more now because of that. So they're and finding them on a freaking huge amount of infantry on the freaking plane. It, it, I mean, it's really. Ugh. They should have just stuck with that damnable freaking truck. And that's it. But no. They thought they were cool. They were like, we're so cool. We ain't gonna do that. And I said, fuck you. Again, it's not a bad game, but there are some things just I miss from the originals. Okay, you guys will go forward. Again, a beautiful game. Hey, wait, we do have one of these assholes here, right? Yes, we don't need him for this point. Okay, he can go to the center now and be awesome like he is. It's always good, of course, to have. Oh, so this is a Soviet crewman. Wow. Yeah, this was full of Soviet crew members. Okay, does not matter. They need to earn they, or their pay. If there is actually any kind of pay for the Soviet soldier. Uh, in the World War Two, I don't know. Maybe I don't care to be honest. Okay. Okay, we're gonna shift him here and then shift towards that position. And that's it. So that's a waypoint given. Well, more than one, but still. Okay, let's see what's happening in this position and I'll end the video here. Again, I do not want one hour videos, but you know, who's gonna watch the fucking one hour of anything, to be honest? Wow, it seems that they don't have anything, which is totally awesome. And I don't see any mines. Oh, okay, they have something over here. We won't be moving these forces up from that for sure. We'll move this officer to that position. This guy is up front here. And I will end the video right here. All best to you guys. Okay, maybe not. Okay, it's only 24 minutes. I mean, wow. Just, wow. Not that like we did anything, but to be honest, I think we did much. We moved a bit. We're recovering our flanks. We're really getting into the deep end with the Germanoids. I wonder if they can actually shoot there. Yes, they can. Shut up. Oh, it was seem they're... Wow, they're reflecting on the sound. That's awesome, actually. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try me a river, bitch. Of course, this is gonna be interesting now.
Now we're gonna cut into them. If we can actually see it through the trees. And that we can't. And that we can't. Oh well. Oh well. Well, at least we have a lot of soldiers now behind cover. Okay, freaking trees and bushes. So that will help a while for a while. But we need to find those mortars. Those mortars are evil bastards. As we know. Also, there should be. Okay, let's check for mines again. We want to be sure that those are no mi there are no mines around that position, especially when we're gonna move in. Yes, yes. And as you can see, this is destroyed. Oh, there was. Uh, see, there was an AT gun, 75 millimeter. And maybe it was the thing that was actually shooting at me, and not the mortar. Let's try it. So that was a 75 millimeter AT-40. See, it was pack 40. It would be nice to have the exact names. I mean, I don't know why they did this. I mean, I prefer to know exact exact names of the specific thing I'm using or the enemy is using because it's interesting. It gives you a little bit of flavor. I still don't know why they did that, but okay. You know, I'm not gonna really judge now, to be honest, being, you know, being the one that finished the freaking campaign for the original. You see, nobody killed him now. Okay, let's see what's here then. Move these forces up front. Is there any difference in speed, though? I didn't notice, to be honest. When they are, of course, lying on the damnable thing and running. But I like having them on the freaking ground. It looks awesome. Having that possibility really gives it, again, a nice feel. Okay. Nothing here. Where are they? Where are they? It's them, Taiga. My ancient enemy. An enemy of all my tanks. Where are they? Oh, I think we are getting close. Okay, someone did shoot at him. Poor dude. He was like, I didn't want to die today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, okay, it seems. Oh, yes, they do have more of these things. Wait, is it supposed to be here or here? I'm thinking it's supposed to be here. So that was an AT gun still. So we need some kind of visual confirmation. Okay, Soviet officer, get over here. See, it was an AT gun, pack 40 again, 75 millimeter. Okay, that's destroyed. Okay, 
Yeah, first heal is down. That's nice. You see the range of our guys? I think all the packs on this side have been destroyed. I love this game. It just gives you so many possibilities how you can actually flank your enemy. It feels open. The maps are big. Everything. I'm, I'm still standing that this is the best RT World War Two RTS game. Well, that's me being a dick. So, okay, the end. All bad.